It's time for Missouri Valley Conference basketball. Today from Peoria, Illinois, Carver Arena, the home team Bradley Braves welcome in the Belmont Bruins. And a very pleasant good Saturday to you along with Rich Zabosik I'm John Rooney. Last year Belmont's first year in the Missouri Valley Conference the Bruins won both games against Bradley very close games Rich what do you expect today. I expect another tight battle Bradley has won seven in a row they're playing their best basketball right now. Meanwhile Belmont trying to adjust without Jacoby Gillespie in the lineup they've gone two and three but if they can stretch this defense of Bradley's out. They have a chance to win again here in Peoria. The Bruins dropped a game to UNI the last time out. Their only home loss so far this year. And Kate Tyson, the player of the year, the freshman of the year last year in the conference, he's looking to get them back into the win column. He's added a couple of new facets to his game. He leads them in scoring, he leads them in rebounding, and he is a terrific three point shooter. Had a big game from long range against UNI. And last year in Nashville at 15 against Bradley including three threes. He's a guy who can score going to the rim shooting a three in the mid range game. And then for Bradley Connor Hickman since his return he has bumped up his scoring average. He's shooting over 50 percent 54 percent from the three point line. One would argue that he is making a statement to be the Larry Bird player of the year. He's the guy who you want the ball in his hands at the end of the game. After trailing by as many as 23 points at SIU Wednesday, the Braves came back to win 70 to 69 and have won seven in a row. And on the other side, Belmont is trying to get back into the win column after a loss at home against you and I. The Bruins and the Braves are coming right up. Thing I miss. Five dollar duo at Burger King. Double up flavors when hunger dings. Whopper Junior and Royal Crispy Wraps for lunch, linen dinner, or late night snack. BK, have it your way. I'm a guy who lost a bet and my dignity. As if watching my team lose wasn't punishment enough. <laughs> and if you have cut rate car insurance, odds are you'll be paying for that yourself. So get all state. It's 10 feet. One shot makes you a soup for 24 hours. Waiting for the break of day. Get this right, and you get my free ticket to tonight's game. Right. Who is my all-time favorite receiver? Oh, Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Oh, yeah, sure. It's all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Uh, yeah, okay. It's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't even know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With vivid seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. The Missouri Valley Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. For surprisingly great rates, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. By farmer-owned Prairie Farms Dairy, celebrating 85 years of feeding American families. And by Grinnell Mutual Insurance. Trust in tomorrow. Garber Arena, we are in Peoria, Illinois for Missouri Valley men's basketball today. Belmont at Bradley. They've introduced the lineups. The Bruins are four and three in the league. While the Braves are five and two, coming back from 23 points down on the road at SIU on Wednesday. 
And let's check out our keys to the game for our game today, a production of Live by Lowe's St. Louis. Rich? For Belmont, they need to space the floor, make Bradley play them in the entire half court. They can put four shooters on the floor. It gives Dia a chance to work inside and then gap integrity. They must do a good job on ball screen defense. And then for Bradley, pound the glass. They lead the league in offensive rebounds, over 11 per game. And then defensively, they got to touch and talk because this Belmont team runs great offense in the first half in the half court. A lot of ball movement, a lot of people movement. Got to touch each other, got to talk. Want to experience late back luxury in the heart of downtown St. Louis adjacent to Ballpark Village? Visit LowesHotels.com slash St. Louis and book your hotel room today. Let's go over our starting lineups. And these are the regular lineups. Of course, Jacoby Gillespie is out with a wrist injury. And for the Bradley Braves, they have been winning since Connor Hickman came back 6-0 and with Hickman scoring just under 17 a game, three rebounds and two assists and shooting 55% since his return from injury. He suffered an ankle injury December 2nd. That was against Indiana State and then missed 26 days. Here we go. Leon's and Dia. And the ball belongs to Bradley. And there's the playmaker and the vocal leader for the Braves, Duke Dean. Belmont coming out the man to man. And Darius Hanna. Hickman. And he'll go to the free throw line. John, keep an eye on Belmont's defense. Casey Alexander is not necessarily what you would call a zone coach, but he has went to it and been successful this year. And if they cannot stop dribble penetration like on that first possession don't be shocked if they go zone early one more coming up for Hickman and close captioning for today's game is made possible by farmer owned Prairie Farms Dairy celebrating 85 years of feeding American families Hickman uh, 68 percent shooter is perfect two for two on his first trip to the line today he went one for one from the line the last time out against SIU. Number three is Davidson. Interesting move, John. They have the freshman Allison on the lead Dia. Willingham getting a step to the baseline and fans it out for Tyson. Davidson a three. And he shoots 27% behind the arc, but was all net there. And selfishness by Kate Tyson. He had a good one. His teammate had a better one. From downtown, and they couldn't get the roll there for Allison. A turnaround, left hand shot, good for Malik Dia. A 5 2 lead for Belmont on the road at Bradley. Leon's looking back door, covered well there. Willingham was right with Hannah. Behind the back dribble, and that's going to give the ball to the Belmont Bruins as Leon stumbled going into the lane. The head coach of the Belmont Bruins played at Belmont, Casey Alexander, his fifth season, 109 victories, 37 losses. Off to a great start there. Now, there are not many coaches who can replace a legend and be successful, but Casey Alexander, who played for Ricky Bird, has done an unbelievable job in following his mentor and legend Allison will put Dia on the line here Dia with another one coming up keep an eye on that Bradley defense John the first two possessions they single covered Dia in the post and he got an easy one the first time and then now at the foul line look for perhaps Brian Wardle to start double teaming Dia One more coming up here after Dia gets the laces tied on the right shoe. Shooting for his fourth point. Trying to make it a five point lead. Belmont is off to a good start. Boy, Belmont and you and I had a three point shootout in the first half at Nashville on Wednesday. Dean spots up. Count it. He gives them such a lift, Rich. 
Uh, he's one of the most dangerous three point shooters in the conference, and he doesn't matter with his size, he still can get his shot off. Tyson with the ball. Inside for the dunk. That's six for Malik Dia. Great recognition by Belmont. They saw the mismatch with Hickman on Dia. Terrific ball movement resulting in two more for Belmont. Here's Hickman. Dean. Out high. Atlason. He has missed both his three point attempts. Tyson. Good body movement into the lane and a block shot inside. That's what Darius Hanna does best. Blocking shots. He's had five games of three block shots this year. Hickman. And that rattles in. Hickman has five. A one point lead. Belmont with the lead on the ball. Dia. He has scored six of those. Davidson in traffic. Long set shot. All bottoms for Malik Dia. He made that look easy. And a timeout taken by the Bradley Braves with 16.52 to go in the first half. The Bruins lead by four. Dia is not necessarily a prolific three point shooter, but here they recognize the mismatch. They throw the lob. He gets the easy one. And then when Davidson pulls both defenders off the ball screen, and instead of a pick and roll, it's a pick and pop, and Dia is feeling it. Dia played at Vanderbilt. Got into 20 games for the Commodores last season, averaging 2.6 points and 1.5 rebounds. And on January 7th, he scored 32 against Drake. He has nine so far today for the Bruins. And John, you know the moral of the story is, the moral of the story is always stay friendly with your high school coach. Casey Alexander played for Ricky Bowers at Brentwood Academy. And then years later, Malik Dia played for Ricky Bowers. And when he decided to leave Vanderbilt, the logical choice followed his high school coach's advice ended up at Belmont Good defense by Davidson and Bradley keeps the ball on the outside and a three pointer good Leons who shoots 31 percent behind the arc gets his first field goal a three ball Bradley down by one Tyson stepping up inside Leon. Dia going back out for Davidson. Dia spinning into the lane and his shot is short. The shot that one over Kyle Thomas. Dean back out high for Bradley. Bradley down by a point. Now ahead in the game. Six for Dean. 14 12 Bradley I tell you John it's not that both teams are not playing good defense they're just making shots Tyson looks inside for Brigham Rogers and with the ball on the floor out of bounds it's going the other way Bradley's basketball and we have a timeout at 15 26 to go in the first half here in Peoria Illinois and with the ball movement setting up Duke Dean He's all bottoms there, and the Braves lead by two. Some people just know that the best rate for you is a rate based on you. Not one based on whatever this person is doing. Get a rate based on you with DriveWise and the Allstate app. Okay, get this right, and you get my free ticket to tonight's game. Who is my all-time favorite receiver? Oh, Larry, oh, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Oh, yeah, sure. It's all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. It's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't even know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With Vivid Seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. Five dollar duo at Burger King. Double up flavors when hunger dings. Whopper Junior and Royal Crispy Wraps for lunch, linen dinner, or late night snack. BK, have it your way. Good boy.
Australian Open. Heads different from the networks of ESPN. I love to compete. Give me a challenge. And watch me prove people wrong. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On four three-point field goals, leading 14-12 over Belmont here in the early going in Peoria. And let's check out today's bird watch presented by Great Southern Bank. Understanding what really matters. Three terrific candidates here with the returning Larry Bird trophy winner. Tucker DeVries there in the middle, but there's some scoring on that board. And the scoring is picking up the points per game moving up for Connor Hickman. Uh, Hickman averaging almost 20 points a game since his return. Tucker DeVries coming off a 29 point performance and what what Isaiah Swope has done for Indiana State one more piece to that puzzle has elevated them to being now a regular season contender to win it. And Isaiah Swope didn't hit his 18 points in the last victory for Indiana State over Missouri State but the supporting cast was sensational. Here's Leon's bouncing low and the dunk. How about that? Kyle Thomas was open and Leon's found him. A four point lead for Bradley. Stopping in the lane and traffic trying to feed low. It's out of bounds and will stay with Belmont. But there really wasn't much Davidson can do. Thomas has impacted this game. Reads it, goes back door with the dunk. When Thomas came into the game, he has picked it up offensively that Atlason has struggled, but more importantly, he, he's a better defensive player and has showed it here. Davidson with three on the shot clock. Somebody has to let it go, and that's a violation. And that's too bad. The three point attempt came after the buzzer. Solid, solid Bradley defense kept the ball in front. There was no need for help and recovery. Forced the turnover. Bradley has made good on five of the last six shots. And here's Duke Dean coming into the front court. Thomas. Thomas again with penetration there by Leon's. Yeah, it's just as he's been called the Swiss Army knife. He does a little bit of everything. A couple of assists. Tyson working on Leon's. And a whistle off the ball near the baseline. Thomas is going to get called. He did his first. Impeding the progress of a, a cutter. Marion Birch, a freshman from Milwaukee, in the game now for Bradley. Number zero with Davidson, Tyson on the outside. Willingham on the bounce near steal there by Christian Davis, and time runs out, but the missed shot. That was close to a, that very close to another violation. Shot clock violation. Oh, the quick pass is tipped, and Leon saves it, taking it away from Tyson. That's just more want to and we've seen now Belmont those two three zone for the first time this afternoon. Davis finding Dean. Leons. And a timeout 30 second timeout taken by Belmont and coach Casey Alexander a 13 0 run for Bradley in a 21 to 12 advantage. Hey John coaches go zone to try and disrupt the rhythm of the offensive team but when you have an experienced team like Bradley you skip the balls swing the zone 
Leons knocks down the three. Leons had a very good second half in the comeback at SIU, and he's off to a good start here with a couple of three point field goals, and then his assists have been big. Now let's check out the active win streaks. Bradley is sitting there at seven, Sanford on top at 16, and how about Western Illinois, nine in a row in that mix? Grand Canyon right behind Sanford. Yeah, you look at this Bradley team, it's been a, a year of streaks. They win their first six, they drop their next five when Hickman goes down. Now they've won seven in a row. I don't know that we really know what the ceiling is for this Bradley Braves team just yet. Number two, Wynn Miller entered the lineup at the timeout, and that is a held ball. Birch was able to get his hands on the ball just as the pass was caught by Kay Tyson. Right now, Bradley is the much more physical and aggressive team. And Birch gets his hand in there and ties it up. The possession arrow favoring Belmont. Nine on the shot clock for the Bruins, and there's the steal. Hannah scores, and he'll be on the line. Watch Darius Hannah. He's going to go where the ball is going. He doesn't run through the middle. He goes to where it's going, and he gets there in time, then finishes with his right hand. And I, I tell you, John, Darius Hannah is the poster child for what Brian Wardle does with his players. Player Development 101. You remember Darius Hanna as a freshman. No sure. offense, more defense, but now he has become a complete player and a potential all-conference type player. Dean looking back door, but Dean has that covered. Beautiful shot and three for Willingham. Anna will always give you a rebound, Rich. That's the thing I thought he did so well when he first joined the Braves. Perfect on the mid-range jumper, Christian Davis. John, that's the key for this Bradley team. Christian Davis, he struggled offensively most of this year, but if he comes alive, they're going to be tough to beat. Dan with the dunk. Tyson with the assist. Malik Dia, the sophomore, has 11. Dean and Leon's outside. Number five is Christian Davis. Bouncing low. Birch didn't have the shot. Dean's wide open from the corner. Spinning out. There's Hannah with the rebound. Another offensive rebound, and he'll get to the free throw line after all of that hard work. When Miller with the foul. Malik Dia has scored 11. He has one dunk, now two after that one, but it's 26-17 for Adler. Moving day has arrived, and College Hunks hauling junk and moving has you covered. Honest. Uniform. Nice. Service. College Hunks hauling junk and moving. Hey sports fans, next time you are in need of lodging for the game, look no further than the Holiday Inn Express in East Peoria, located on the riverfront and 10 minutes away from Bradley University. This hotel is a comfortable night's stay. Offering all that you need, including a complimentary breakfast and indoor pool access. Located near the Bass Pro in East Peoria. Call or book online today. This is one of those dreams where you can't stop sweating. You're not moving very quickly and you're getting chased. <laughs> you know the one where you showed up late and you think this is the new norm. And you open your eyes and it is. That's where. What's the best part of turning 100? You, our neighbors we've had the opportunity to help throughout the years. 
It's been our privilege to get to know you, to understand what's important to you, whether it's simplifying your banking, financing your dream, or saving for your future. We'll continue to be here, finding new ways to provide personalized support for every customer and every community, now and every day forward. Great Southern Bank, celebrating 100 years of support. Learn more at greatsouthernbank.com. the Missouri Valley today. The Braves are leading the Bruins 26-17 here in Peoria, Illinois. As we check out our men's basketball standings, a presentation of the Holiday Inn Express in Sweets Riverfront, the preferred hotel of the Missouri Valley Conference on the Hilltop. For your next trip to Peoria, call 309-694-9800 and book your room. There at the top, Drake and Indiana State at 6-1. and one. Then Bradley Murray State at 5-2. and two. And then they're bunched in there, SIU Belmont and Northern Iowa. And SIU is at Northern Iowa coming up tonight. Well, Drake and Indiana State added very good players in the offseason. Wright Gibson for Drake, Indiana State at, added Swope. And they are leading and both teams having a chance to become at-large teams if they don't win the regular season, or excuse me, the postseason tournament. Darius Hanna with another free throw coming his way. With some hard work on the offensive glass, Hanna got to the free throw line right at the timeout. Looking to add on. That he does. Darius Hanna averaging 11.5 a game. He has five today. A little full court pressure, trying to see if Belmont will get sloppy, slow him down. Walker and Miller on the outside. That's Miller in the corner. And a reach in by Hannah, the first foul on him with Dia trying to get to the glass. This is the matchup that I, I've been dying to see Dia and Darius Hannah. We started the game and, and the Atlason was on him. Brian Wardle says, forget about that. I'm going to my best defender, Hannah. Let's see if he can slow down Malik Dia. Here's the handoff for Miller. Swinging the pass for Dia and a travel call on the turnover. Bradley, the chance to extend a 28 17 lead at 11 10 to go in the first half. Number 10 is Connor Hickman, the junior from Bloomington South, Bloomington, Indiana. Anna. The spin and the pass to Birch with nine on the shot clock. Birch in heavy traffic and with a travel. The ball goes back to Belmont off the bench for Belmont. Keyshawn Davidson, the senior who came to Belmont from Tennessee Tech. Davidson number three. A huge assist game against you and I only had eight assists against the Panthers but struggled shooting the ball like that exactly like that he missed a couple of those I think he was anticipating some contact oh Hickman was open for a moment with the jump step can't get the roll Hannah tried to fight for the loose ball out of bounds and it will stay on this side of the floor great hustle there by everybody with Tyson hitting the deck in 24 Kyle Thomas out Darius Hanna. He goes to the bench over for Brian Wardle and Duke Dean is back in with Birch the freshman going over to the bench. Kyle Thomas the young man who transferred from Eastern Illinois. Came right down the road. Braves fans are happy that he is now here in Peoria. Duke Dean looking for Atlason. Walker stays right there with Hickman. Dean stumbles. He's looking for some room, and with time running out on the shot clock, the rebound goes to Cade Tyson. Tyson averages just under five rebounds a game. Davidson. And hitting the floor, that's Dia, and it's a jump ball. And that will go to Bradley. If you watch that call by Jeff Campbell, and some would say, eh, he really didn't have his hands on the ball, but 
I like the call by Campbell because you, you have two guys who are going to fight for the ball and then things happen. Emotions take over. Clearly, he was going to jump on it. So good call by Jeff Campbell. And here's Hickman stepping to the free throw line in the lane and he gives the shot a push. Number five is Jace Willingham. The Bruins with the ball. And Tyson cutting to the hoop scores. John, that's the first fast break basket Belmont has had since the initial three or four minutes of the game. Bradley's done a good job keeping them in the half court. A great cut by Tyson. Hickman. Thomas is blocked by Dia. Way outside and a three ball for Jace Willingham, his second today. That's what Coach Wardle was worried about. Transition defense, we gotta find shooters. Now a six point game. Davidson with the foul, that's his first. In transition, Dia ignites it with the block. And then no hesitation by the grad transfer, Willingham. Here comes Dean with seven on the shot clock. Great pass and a dunk for Thomas. Dean with the assist. Six for Thomas off the bench today. And a substitution. Here's Birch back in. Spelling Connor Hickman. God, watch this terrific seal by Thomas. He's going to step to meet the pass. So often post guys will stay on their heels and let the ball come to them. But Thomas. Well, that would have been a steal for Malik exactly. Dia. Exactly. He cut Dia off. Now from the corner, Tyson counted. You cannot help off of Cade Tyson. I saw that on the board in the Braves locker room. Dean, Malave Leons, Defensive Player of the Year last year in the Valley. The pass inside, terrific anticipation by Willingham on the steal. All alone at the three-point line, but short this time for Davidson. And it was Dia who was under the basket. And we go to break at 738 left in the first half. And the Braves are leading 30 to 27 with the Bruins on a comeback. Oh, brother. Which brother? The older brother, duh. You're only older by a minute. Best minute of my life. Guys, guys, break it up, break it up. Our son just needs car insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Your State Farm agent can help you choose the right coverage. Give me the ball, you my guys, guys. That was my ball. Guys, bring it up! Bring it up! Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It begins here. As the Missouri Valley Conference celebrates 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center in downtown St. Louis. Stay with your team at its assigned hotel and experience Arch Madness as 12 Valley schools look to capture the league's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Conveniently located near attractions like the Gateway Arch, the City Museum, and Ballpark Village, site of the MVC Fan Hangout, team properties plus the tournament headquarters at Union Station, and other Arch Madness hotels offer valley rates to fans wishing to follow their schools all the way to the MVC Championship crown. Book rooms at these properties for Arch Madness or for your next trip to St. Louis by calling 1-800-916-0041 or visit ExploreStLouis.com. The valley runs deep. We have all Americans. We have champions. We have Olympians. We 
have legends. And the valley just got deeper. John, let's talk a little ABCs. And we're going to watch the ball go into the post to Kyle Thomas. And what I mean by ABCs is you got to keep it simple. Pass A, B, C. What Thomas is going to do, he's going to try and skip to the C in Leon's instead of the B, which is Duke Dean out at the top of the key. Tried to go for the home run. It's a single. Throw it to the guy at the top of the key. He's either got an open three, or now he throws the ball to Leo. And a 10-2 run has put Belmont right back in this game of the first half, down by three. Bradley with the ball after the timeout. So we come down to seven and a half minutes to go. Leon's out high, guarded by Tyson. Anna. Going to the corner. Birch. Oh, was he open? And he made a go. The first field goal for DeMaria is a three ball. And he's seven out of 19 from three point range in his freshman season. Uh, he's one of the, the newcomers, one of the freshmen that could be freshman of the year. He's been that explosive for this Bradley team. 22 is Vanderjack. Davidson high arc and that spins off good rebound position inside for Hannah and right there was Duke Dean and on the drive open in the corner Leon's and he missed this one the rebound for Rogers that was a tough one to turn down for Leon's but I would have turned it down to get Birch a second three in a row and Birch with the rebound gives the ball right back to Bradley but Bradley leading 33 27 Dean Letting his offense set up. And a looking low, covered by Tyson. Birch from the free throw line. <laughs> he's starting to feel it, Rich. I'm telling you, he's Vinnie Johnson, the microwave. He scores in bunches. Birch averages 5 4 a game. He has five in the first half today against Belmont. Tyson has scored seven. Rogers sets the pick for Davidson. Vanderjack with the ball fake all the way in and off the glass. Kyler Vanderjack. Here's Davis. And Bradley with the ball leading 35 29. And a directing traffic. Dean. Lost his footing and back the other way. Davidson. Walker and Davidson on the outside now for Belmont. Belmont has won 11 out of 18 games this year, four and three in the conference. Walker with the drive along the baseline gets his first field goal. minutes left until halftime in our State Farm halftime report. Back door, Leon's adjusting, didn't have enough on the shot. He drew the contact, no whistle. And all the way off the glass, a miss by Davidson. That's and the facet of Tyson's game that has improved from a year ago. The strength to finish inside. How about the adjustment by Casey Alexander? Their ball screen is much higher, which creates more space, longer runs for defenders. Walker gets an easy one because of it. And Tyson goes to the free throw line. Leon's with the foul put in there for the three point play and 10 points for Tyson. Stay tuned for our halftime report sponsored by State Farm Insurance, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. As you know, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Here's Hickman. Allison in, and he looked to the corner for Hickman, and contact was made on the pass. Dia gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar. That's his first foul. 
He's got to resist that urge to reach in. His wall up. Oh, Leon's with a nice move along the baseline, and that's out of bounds. Going to Belmont. It's the second time that Leon has got himself caught in the air, nowhere to go. Not a good feeling, is it? No, it isn't. Vanderjack, D on the outside. Davidson guarded by Hickman. And Davidson dragged the pivot foot. Back to Bradley. Bradley leading by one thin point after a 12 point lead at 12.55 to go in the first half. I love the two way players in this conference. You, know, you look at Connor Hickman, defends Davidson, keeps him in front, steals, and then he scores at the other end. Hickman has room. Hickman thought about it and then saw there's nothing to my left and he has seven. I'm not sure that people understand how hard it is to go full blow on a defensive end and then be the scorer on the other end. And get a rebound of the it's miss like, by Connor Vanderjack. Duke Dean with a behind the back dribble. Vanderjack was with him. Leons on the outside for Hannah. Lots of time on the shot clock. But Hannah, a line drive shot. Rebounded by Jace Willingham. Keyshawn Davidson, Willingham. Coming down to three minutes until halftime. And that just went over Roger's shoulder. Right through his hands, out of bounds, and a timeout at 3.01 left in the first half. We have a good one in Peoria. What was a 12 point game is down to a three point game in favor of the home team Braves. I'm a parking gate and I'm all out of whack. And if you have cut rate car insurance, this could leave you all bent out of shape. So get all state and be better protected from mayhem. <laughs> when you're launching a new product with a tight deadline, two weeks? Grammarly's tone suggestions can help motivate your team with a positive approach. Because you know we got work to do. Looking good, team. When it's time to pitch your product to clients, a more personable and friendly approach can help sell it. And look, they bought it all. With Grammarly, getting the tone just right makes a big impact on your team's success. Download at Grammarly.com today. Not everyone's training for a gold medal. Not everyone wants to go hard or go home. Whatever you're starting, run your own race. Because doing something is everything. Rent the Peloton bike or bike plus today at OnePeloton.com. Terms apply. Bold, juicy, beefy, grilled. There's a lot of ways to describe the flame grilled flavor of Burger King. But one thing's for certain. It's not the same without the flame. PGA Tour Live. Every tournament starts on ESPN+. Plus. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. The exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library. Exclusive articles and tools. Top leagues and tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Live sports. Surrey Valley, the Bradley Braves are holding on to a three point lead, 37 34 over Belmont here in the first half of Peoria. When the NBC TV network crews travel to campuses, it considers these properties home. When traveling to league cities for NBC regular season, postseason competition, or with youth sports teams, please call or visit the websites of these properties for making plans to follow your favorite team away from home. That's what we do, and they take great care of us. They most certainly do. How they in yesterday. Nice, a nice stop here. And 
get the cookie on Wednesday down in Springfield. And a great, great first half. 37 34, Belmont fighting back from 12 down. And Bradley looking to add on. Darius Hanna. Here's Hickman. Just off. And the rebound for Jace Willingham. Who averages just under five rebounds a game for the Bruins. Willingham at the point. Started by Anderson. In the corner. And that's just off the back iron for Tyson. Two, Tyson has scored 10. Two very good set plays out of that timeout. I, both coaches got their best shooters wide open looks, just didn't go down. Leons, and he scores that one. Malavai has eight in the first half. Hannah. Oh, excuse me, there Hannah. Hannah. Hannah with the basket inside. And it was always going to that left. And there's number one. Atlason with the steal. Anna has seven in the first half. And a shot for three won't go for Hickman. Just off a little bit. Tyson. And a reach is called on Hannah. Diaz hand. That's Hannah's second foul. John, shooters are best when they are on balance. Watch Connor Hickman on this last shot. Never quite gets his feet set and he floats on the jumper, causing him to miss. And he goes straight up and down. He's as deadly as anybody. A bounce to the corner, but Dia couldn't reach it. Out of bounds to Bradley. With a 39 34 lead. Tyson thought it was going to be a pick and roll. Dia thought pick and pop. A little miscommunication. Here's Davis. Leon's quickly finding Birch. Eight on the shot clock. Almar Atlason and a foul. And that's a reach on Walker, his second foul. Six team fouls on the Bruins, so Bradley will play it in with 101 until halftime. Time scoring situation. Isaiah Walker not happy with himself on that foul. He was going nowhere. Three seconds on the shot clock. Resist the urge, young man. On the inbounds play, Dukney. That's why Brian Wardle has won a lot of games here at Bradley. What do you do on dead ball situations? And that's all glass on Willingham shot for three. Birch working on Davidson. Leons. There's Dean for three. The relocation by Duke Dean gets him that wide open look. A 9 0 run for Bradley as Dean has 11 in the first half. Time running down in the first half with the Bruins looking for the last shot. The fadeaway high arc and off the back iron. There's Dean letting it go, and that will end our first half. A 10 point lead for Bradley at 44 to 34. A, a 12 point lead. Let's see. They may be putting some time back on. The Braves, they were headed for the locker room. I mean, I, maybe they put a second, maybe less than a second. Let go of the, the shot. It looked like he. He shot it with about 3.9. And the shot went out of bounds. Belmont's ball with 0.7. Now 0.7 gives you the ability to catch and shoot. We're going to see, can they... Throw one over the top and maybe Dia catch it in traffic or Tyson. 
And there's Dia. And that's the final shot of the first half. And it is a 10 point game in favor of the Bradley Braves at 44 34. They had a 12 point lead down to three and then back to 10 at the half. Coming up on our State Farm halftime report, we'll have the highlights of the first half, a player feature, and the statistics, and get you set for our second half in Peoria. All ahead on our State Farm halftime report. Live sports. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I stopped a thousand attackers. Had a natural disaster. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. When it comes to hair supplements, you just never know. You see things online, you just don't know if they're gonna work. Is this gonna be powerful enough? Am I actually gonna see substantial results from it? My dermatologist recommended Nutrafol, and it's 100% drug-free and clinically tested. Within three months, my hair is fuller. It's longer, it's thicker. It was so nice to be noticed for my hair after hiding it for so many years. Try the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement brand at Nutrafol.com. Target. What's his deal? Oh, him? He just got cash back shopping with Rackadin. Oh, I know the feeling. Cash back's where it's at. I just never dance in public. Pure Leaf is crafted in a variety of flavors that'll make you say, ah. Enjoy juicy peach, zesty lemon, or ripe raspberry without any artificial flavors. Pure Leaf iced tea, real variety, real brewed. Surprisingly great rates, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. By farmer-owned Prairie Farms Dairy, celebrating 85 years of feeding American families. And by Grinnell Mutual Insurance, trust in tomorrow. We're at the half, and our halftime report is sponsored by State Farm Insurance, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. If you have questions about your insurance, State Farm is there for your what-ifs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Go or call. You can go online to statefarm.com or make your call to get a quote now. Our first half highlights are made possible by explorerstlouis.com. And let's see what happened during our first 20 minutes of play as Malik Dia got up to a really hot start and had 11 points. Adia was a force in the paint, shows you the left hand, then he seals his defender, gets an easy dunk, and then shows his versatility with the three ball and had it going. And Bradley scored seven three-point field goals in the first half. Duke Dean with the first there. Now four different players with a three ball for Bradley. Duke Dean with three of them to lead the way, but seven for 14 in the first half from the three-point line, and Bradley shooting the ball extremely well. The Valley is making its way to St. Louis for Arch Madness 2024 on March the 7th through the 10th, so start planning at explorestlouis.com. Seven different play, players scored for Bradley in a 10-point halftime lead. Bradley had the 12-point lead, and then three-point field goals and uh, some good shooting got Belmont back into it only to have Bradley go on a run at the end. Oh, it was a game of streaks here in the first half. At the outset, Belmont able to get in transition, built a little bit of a lead, then Bradley got it down to being a half-court game, built their double-digit lead, but then again, Belmont able to score in transition, got it back, 
but then Bradley to finish it off. They got the defense in transition better, and they made it a half-court game. That's going to be the key in the second half. If it goes up and down, that favors Belmont. If it's grinded out in the half court, that favors the Braves. And the Braves have won seven in a row, leading by 10 at the half over Belmont. Coming up, we have our player feature. And then we'll take a look at the stats for the second half from Peoria, Illinois. This season, take live sports. Oh, hi, Kevin. Getting ready to move some boxes? Stretch it out. That's right. Oh, no. Hurry, Kevin. Reach for an Ericsson ratchet strap. That should do the... Wait, what? That's not exactly how our straps are meant to be used, but I like it. Don't get caught with your pants down. And remember, tie it, tow it, load it with Ericsson. Try fast and always free drive up at Target. Not everyone's training for a gold medal. Not everyone wants to go hard or go home. Whatever you're starting, run your own race. Because doing something is everything. Get started with two months free. Visit OnePeloton.com. Terms apply. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure will help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? You want to be where you can see troubles are upset. You want to go where everybody knows your name. The 2024 Pro Bowl game. This year's stars show off their best moves in the skill show. Plus, the AFC and NFC meet again in flag football. Touchdown. Skill show February 1st on ESPN. Flag football and more skills February 4th on ESPN and ABC. They're sponsored by State Farm Insurance, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Have questions about your insurance? State Farm is there for your what ifs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com to get a quote today. It's time for today's player profile, made possible by Arch Madness 2024. NBC correspondent Connor Cleary takes a look at Bruins sophomore guard forward Kate Tyson. Finds Tyson for the win. He oh! got it. He oh! got it. Kate Tyson. Oh! After a remarkable freshman season where he averaged over 13 points per game and earned NBC Freshman of the Year, sophomore Kate Tyson continues to improve and impress. Just when you compete, you get better regardless. Both, both sides get better. Um, and if you don't give it your all, then what's the point of going out there and competing against one another? But, uh, you know, what he has done here has been really remarkable in my opinion, I think from, you know, from his first game uh, where we saw the buzzer beating three to beat Ohio. Uh, all the way through his freshman season where he showed a really incredible amount of consistency and maturity. Um, and to now in a different role um, as a sophomore this year, a little bit more of a marked man. Um, and he's been a little bit more of a roller coaster probably than he or any of us would have wanted. But, but when you add it all up, he's having another tremendous season. Like I said, I've just tried to block out all the noise with the attention and all that and uh, just do what I can to make my team better. Uh, maybe I'm not scoring the ball. What else can I do to help my team on the defensive and offensive end as well? The most important way Tyson helps the team is off the court. Yeah, he's uh, I, I would say the biggest he's grown is his, his leadership. Uh, you know, he's he's a very talented special player and he's very big for our team. And yeah, I mean, I've always felt like I I was more of the type of leader to lead by example, but I realized that you know sometimes I do have to step up and be vocal and uh, get on the guys even though I love them. Just doing what's best for the team no matter what is going our way or going my way. This be the outlet to Tyson for the two-hand stuff. 
Uh, he brings a smile every single day with him uh, when he shows up to the facility. I mean, the spreads, you know, he's a very, uh, a tremendous person, and I think it's the most important off the boys. Uh, I'm very thankful to have him in my life as my brother, and yeah, I know he's going he's gonna to continue to just grow and keep getting better. Despite some early season troubles, Tyson's mindset remains unchanged. Just keep competing, keep going after it. I just felt like I've always been a competitive person, you know, growing up with my brother. I think it probably stems from that mostly. Now I've got a couple of cousins I used to play against all the time. Too. Keep competing, and success will follow. For the Missouri Valley Conference, I'm Christian Sadler. Our profile was made possible by the 2024 State Farm MVC Men's Basketball Tournament. Make plans to celebrate 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center in St. Louis coming up March the 7th through the 10th. For more information, visit archmadness.com. We're at the half at Peoria, Illinois. We have Bradley hosting Belmont. And more of our State Farm Halftime Report comes your way after these messages. Live sports. Okay, get this right, and you get my free ticket to tonight's game. Who is my all-time favorite receiver? Oh, Larry, oh, Larry Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Yes, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry hey, Fitzgerald. I heard you got an extra ticket to the game tonight. I would love to go. Oh, yeah, sure. It's all, it's all yours, Larry. Thanks, Billy. I'll meet you out front. What? Uh, yeah, okay. It's Bob, but okay. Yeah. He doesn't even know your name, dude. I guess I'm Bill now. With Vivid Seats, when you buy 10 tickets, you can get your 11th free. Pure Leaf crafts real brewed iced tea using the highest quality tea leaves without any artificial flavors. Nothing that doesn't make our tea better. Pure Leaf iced tea, real variety, real brewed. Not everyone's training for a gold medal. Not everyone wants to go hard or go home. Whatever you're starting, run your own race. Because doing something is everything. Brent the Peloton. Exclusive.com to get a quote right now. And let's check out our first half stats of production of St. Louis Union Station, the home of attractions like the St. Louis Aquarium and the St. Louis Wheel. You can do it all at St. Louis Union Station. To see where it takes you, visit stlouisunionstation.com right now. Halftime in Peoria. Both teams are back out on the floor. We're getting ready for the second half, and that's straight ahead. Moving day has arrived, and College Hunks hauling junk and moving has you covered. Honest. Uniform. Nice. Knowledgeable. Service. College Hunks hauling junk and moving. This is one of those dreams where you can't stop sweating. You're not moving very quickly, and you're getting chased. <laughs> you know the one where you showed up late, and you think this is the new norm. And you open your eyes, and it is. QC, that's where. 
uvc-sports.com slash gear, the official online store of the Missouri Valley Conference with officially licensed Valley gear from all 17 NBC championships, including Arch Madness and Hoops in the Heartland. We've got it all. Shop shirts, hoodies, hats, and more to celebrate your team's title. Visit mvc-sports.com slash gear to get yours today. Since 1907, the Valley runs deep. Surprisingly great rates, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. By farmer-owned Prairie Farms Dairy, celebrating 85 years of feeding American families. And by Grinnell Mutual Insurance, trust in tomorrow. With our Missouri Valley TV crew and Rich Zavosik, I'm John Rooney, Carver Arena in Peoria, Illinois. We're set for the second half. Belmont gets the basketball, and here we go. Belmont down by 10. An up tempo helps get them back into the game after trailing by 12 at one point in the first half, narrowing the gap to three, but then Bradley was able to jump to a 10 point lead at the intermission. Willingham and Davidson on the outside. A block inside and Bradley comes up strong. A block inside and Bradley comes up strong. Underneath, there's Hannah. Hannah has nine. Good defense leads to an easy offensive possession. Oh, the pass is saved by Tyson. But Rich might catch that one. <laughs> Here is Dia missing. And it was standing his ground there for Bradley. Back to the biggest lead for Bradley at 12 points. And here's Dean, baseline jumper. Yeah. Uh, Dean is feeling it. Terrific screen by Atlason when the ball went into the post, freed him up. A 13 0 run by the Bradley Braves and a 48 34 lead. Davidson looking low. Dia met by a double team. And cutting inside, the pass wasn't there for Walker. Dean looking to Hannah. Guarded by Tyson. And a foul with the bump by Tyson, his first foul. Well, what do you do when the ball goes into the post? You're going to see textbook. Well, first we're going to see Hannah running the floor, being rewarded. But then they throw it into the post, they screen away from Dean. And he gets an easy one. Leon's drains the basket, and we have a timeout taken by Belmont with a 50 to 34 lead for the Braves, their biggest of the game. So we'll take the break here, and Bradley has shot right out of the gate in the second half. The thing I miss most about being away from St. Louis is the food. Live sports. The world's largest sports book in Las Vegas is now right at your fingertips here in Illinois. Download your new bookie today at circusports.com. Start betting like a pro from anywhere in Illinois. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. From the Pacific to the playoffs, every tournament starts on ESPN Plus. Stream your own way with four unique feeds. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. The 
Australian Open. It's different on the networks of ESPN. The 2024 Pro Bowl games. This year's stars show off their best moves in the skill show. Plus, the AFC and NFC meet again in flag football. Touchdown. Skill show February 1st on ESPN. Flag football and more skills February 4th on ESPN and ABC. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. PGA Tour Live. Every tournament starts on ESPN+. Plus. The Australian Open. It's different from the networks of ESPN. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. You want to be where you can see troubles around the city. You want to go where everybody knows. There go. Stranger, hey, how you doing? Those things go a long way, and I think that's really genuine. Followed by Leon shot before the timeout was called a two and confirmed. So he has eight points, and Bradley leads 50 to 34. Today's State Farm MVC Scholar Athlete of the Game is Bradley's Connor Hickman. Hickman has a 3.75 grade point in marketing and leadership. Here in second team all NBC scholar athlete honors in 2023. Number 10 Connor Hickman our State Farm NBC scholar athlete of the game like a good neighbor State Farm is there. So the officials reviewed that and confirmed a two point field goal for Leon's and it's 50 34 Bradley. Bradley with its biggest lead Tyson short on the three point attempt and that is out of bounds to Bradley. It wasn't much that Willingham could do with the ball going out of bounds off the air ball. Terrific defense. They talked, they touched, so that Tyson did not get an open look. Now we're going to see Belmont. They stay man to man with Dia on the bench. Rogers, a better defensive player, perhaps. And as Hannah reached for the pass, Brigham Rogers fouled it. The second team foul on Belmont. So Bradley will inbound from the baseline with 17.50 to go in the second half with a comfortable 50 to 34 lead. Belmont had eight turnovers in the first half. They have two in the first two minutes of this half. Need to clean that up to get back in it. Hickman. <laughs> he is feeling it. Give him nine. Tyson looking for Brigham Rogers. Rogers is pushed by Hannah. That's the third on Hannah. John, this is going to sound a little strange, but I think the injury helped Hickman. And what I mean by that is his legs look fresher than they did prior to the injury. And you know, when you get a little bit of extra rest in the middle of the season, it helps you. Here's Leon. And Dean will bring it on out. <laughs> to the disappointment of the crowd. Hickman short on that one. And back the other way, Belmont. And on the drive, count it. That's what Belmont wants. That's what Belmont wants, John. Get it in transition. And Kate Tyson absorbs the contact. Never drops his eyes off the bucket. That's why he's going for a three point play. And he has the three point play and 13 points in this one. Two for two from the free throw line. Vanderjack in, and Isaiah Walker goes to the bench for the Bruins. Bradley's basketball. Dean has scored 13 today. Dean on the bounce. That's a three point attempt and off the back iron. Missed by Thomas. And here's Keyshawn Davidson. Davidson spinning. The ball is swatted back out. Nicely done inside by Brigham Rogers. Here's Davidson. 
And we have a hold in the lane. That's called against Bradley. The second foul on Thomas. Here's Christian Davis coming back in, and he'll replace number one, Almar Atlason. Actually, a pretty good foul by Thomas. Rogers had driven him halfway up the lane. And a foul on Thomas, his third. That beat on that face cut. Not going to give up the layup, but Thomas a little bit upset with himself. And Atlason wasn't out of the game long. He's back in for Thomas. I don't know if the people at home can hear that, but Brian Wardle yelling out exactly what Belmont was going to do on that baseline out of bounds. The shot for three, no good. Davis on the outlet for Dean. Hickman. Leons. Dean will take it. And on a bounce, Tyson gives the ball to Davidson. Tyson has scored 13. Vanderjack from the double team. Willingham shooting for three. That's his third three point field goal. That will help get this Belmont team back in the game. Now Willingham took the place of Drew Freiberg, who graduated a year ago. Those Belmont fans, I'm sure, will remember the big three a year ago that tied the game here in Peoria. Here's the bounce pass for the baseline. And the shot for three, perfect. Davis has five. Willingham, Rogers. Leon's getting some help there from Atlason. Willingham into the lane. The short jumpers off the glass and the rim. Dean pushing the ball to the front court. Allison with the pick. And along the baseline, it's a layup for Davis. Give him seven. He averages eight seven a game. Davidson. Rogers out high. 15 on the shot clock. Davidson bouncing low for Rogers. A shot for three. Perfect for Willingham. Give him 12. Great recognition by Belmont. Inside out action. Go to the hot hand. 57 43. Bradley with the lead on the ball at 13 57 and counting in the second half. That made three. Belmont switches to a 2 3. Hickman. Vanderjack got a hand on the ball, but there's Hickman. Great hustle by Leons. Around it goes. A cross court pass deflected out of bounds by Tyson. There will be eight on the shot clock when we come back. Great ball movement by Bradley. The back door cut by Connor Hickman. And he dishes it to the corner. Davis rewards the Braves fans. And Doug. Customize and save with Liberty Biberty. Liberty Boucher. Liberty Blibitu. Mark that one. That was nice. I think you're supposed to stand over there. Oh, am I? Thank you. So a couple more, but we'll just we'll rip, we'll go quick. Libu smibu. Libu bribu. Limu bibu. And me. He's an emu. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 liberty. This is how AG1 works to help your nutrition work harder for you. Even when you try to get high quality nutrition, getting it from diet alone isn't easy. But AG1 combines vitamins, probiotics, and whole food source nutrients in one optimized formula. Obsessing over potency, absorbency, and nutrient density to help your body get the most out of everything we put in. Get the foundational nutrition you need at drinkag1.com. 
Popeye's Big Box is back until February 11th. Getting all this for $6.99 doesn't make sense, but adding a fancy strawberry biscuit sure does. Am I just a basic biscuit? Live a little. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. PGA Tour Live. Every tournament starts on ESPN+. Plus. PGA Tour Live on ESPN+. Plus. Everybody out on the golf course. From the Pacific to the playoffs. And every hole in between. Phenomenal stuff. It's pretty cool. Every tournament starts on ESPN+. Plus. Stream your own way. The four wow. unique feeds. All the energy. These guys are having fun. All the personalities. Think Scotty's into it. All the unexpected. All season. PGA Tour Live on ESPN+. Plus. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments through the fall in hydration levels. Mm. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. They're defending the home four well today, leading 57-43 over Belmont in the Missouri Valley Conference. As we take a look at our Missouri Valley Conference scores and schedules, a presentation of Grinnell Mutual Insurance, trust in tomorrow. And we had Illinois State playing Missouri State in the second half, a close one down in Springfield. UIC at Valpo, Evansville and Drake. And then Indiana State tomorrow will play Murray State, but tonight at 7, Northern Iowa will host SIU. And the importance of this, then Jacobson with the win at Belmont tied Henry Iba, then of Oklahoma A&M, for the most Missouri Valley Conference wins. This is in the conference only. A 187 for Jake and for Coach Iba. Dana Altman, Eddie Hickey, Barry Henson, some great names on that list. And all the best to Ben Jacobson and uh, tip of the cap. One of the great coaches in college basketball and, and he's in the Valley of Northern Iowa. And to put that in perspective for those of you who don't know who Henry Iba is. Henry Iba won back to back national championships at Oklahoma State. That is some prolific company that Ben Jacobson is is in a rare close in miss by Hickman and Belmont comes back the other way. Your guy Dia back in the game. And he is blocked at the end line. Dia was out for a little over four and a half minutes. Here's Hickman. He didn't miss that close in shot. Connor has 11 coming off 15 at SIU in 34 minutes on Wednesday. Tyson has scored 13. Dia has scored 11. And he is fouled as he enters the paint. I don't know about you, John, but and I know we're a long way from the end of the season, but I tell you, it's going to be a tough decision for the Larry Bird Player of the Year this year. Hickman is playing lights out. Four fouls on Hannah. And the long live pass for Davidson. Miller. Or excuse me, the shot by Walker. Walker misses off the back iron. Walker has just two points in this one. Ryan Wardle decides to go small this time, with Hannah going in foul trouble. There was some contact on the pass by Allison, no whistle. Inside, the spin is good for Vanderjack. And Vanderjack has the basket and one. Second foul on Allison. Register to win an Arch Madness VIP package, including all session tickets for the State Farm men's basketball tournament, hotel accommodations, and tickets to St. Louis area attractions. Log on to explore stlewis.com slash NBC contest for all the details. A three-point play for Kyler Vanderjay. He is 14 of 15 from the free throw line this season. 59 46 Bradley with the lead in the ball. Belmont back in that 2 3 zone. This is actually should be a good zone team for Bradley. They got shooters all over the place. And the three point shot goes for Davis. He has two.
two three point field goals and his 10 points. Three point attempt no good for Batterjack. Tyson with the save there, the offensive rebound. Davidson looking for some room. Here's Dia shooting off the glass. Birch the other way. Vanderjack reaching in and a foul. Vanderjack with his first foul. So we're going to break. 11:21 left in the second half. It's the Braves game right now, 62-46. Live sports. The Home Depot committed to filling the trade gap. What do I love the most <laughs> is how much she cares about everyone. His energy and honesty. Her heart, right? Now love is caring, right? <laughs> Diamonds for all loves. Pandora, love growing diamonds. Businesses go further with 5G solutions. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. PGA of America and T-Mobile are partnering on 5G-powered analytics to help improve player performance. T-Mobile's network helps AAA stay connected nationwide to get their members back on the road. And Las Vegas Grand Prix chose T-Mobile to help fuel operations for one of the world's largest racing events. Now is the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. Australian Open. It's different from the networks of ESPN. NHL All-Star Weekend on ESPN, ABC, and ESPN+. Plus. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. The competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Andrea Carter here, and let me tell you something. It's conference season time, which means it's time to get ESPN+. Plus. That's where you can find your favorite teams and conferences. So get in the game and stream now. We have a 62-46 lead for the Braves over the Bruins. And there is Malik Dia, the big 6'9 sophomore who came to Belmont from Vanderbilt and he took quite a fall on the contact on their end of the floor and he was able to walk off the court though looked like he was favoring an ankle and he had been out for like four and a half minutes when he returned and they have not been giving Dia many good looks there have been Bradley Braves around him each time he touched the ball Trainer Kim Anderson for Belmont becomes the most important person on that bench right now. Seeing if she can get Malik Dia back in the game. And the ball belongs to Bradley. The inbounds pass. Lobbed in by Hickman. Birch. And Birch is foul. Davidson with his second. Fourth team foul on the Bruins, three team fouls on the Braves so far in the second half. Now, this could get interesting in the last 11 minutes. Both teams have gone small. Bradley with five shooters on the floor, Belmont with four. They're going to call a hold on Walker. And the third foul on Walker. I should say six fouls on the Braves and now five on the Bruins. Birch taking the inbounds pass. Leons. That's a three. Leons has 11. Foul 
before that shot will give the ball back to the Braves. I got to tell you, John, I don't like that call at all. I, I think Rogers hands off. He's diving to the basket. He's not screening, not impeding anybody's progress, but won't be the first time that I have disagreed <laughs> with an official. And the team fouls are even at six now. The second foul by Brigham Rogers. Leon's he's feeling it. It's 11 threes for Bradley five different players on the board. 14 for Leon's and a foul call. That's on Leon. Leon's is going to read the defense his, his man tried to go over the top he fades to the corner. Terrific read by Leon's. You can see why he is a tremendous chess player, which he does a lot in his off time. It's a chess match out there. And that earns a bonus. 14 for Tyson. The 2024 St. Louis Cardinals season is right around the corner. Ticket packs and single game all inclusive tickets are on sale now. So get yours at Cardinals.com. 15 for Cade Tyson. 68 48. Bradley on its home court with the lead in the ball. Davis has scored 10 in this one. Atlason for Hickman. From the corner, that rattles out for Davis. Walker driving and the putback by Rogers his first field goal once again out of out of transition their secondary break they get an easy putback you got to get a couple of stops if you're Belmont to get back in it Allison and he got the roll Lamar Allison, 43% behind the arc. Coming down to nine minutes left in the second half. And Tyson hits the deck as he drew contact. Allison with his third foul. And it's Tyson going to the free throw line. Tyson is four out of four from the line today. What? The first of two for Cade Tyson. The sophomore from North Carolina. Another one coming up. Arch Madness 2024 will tip off March 7th through the 10th. And the only place to celebrate before and after all the action at Enterprise Center is the NBC Fan Hangout at Ballpark Village. For all you need to know about the fan hangout, download the Arch Madness app today. Tyson perfect at the line today. He has 17 total points. That's his average. Last four Bradley field goals, three point field goals. Here's Hickman in the lane with the right hand, and he got the roll. Ball just seems to dance on that rim for Hickman and drop in. It's been a dribble penetration that's created open shots. Tyson pushes that one home. Tyson at 20 points, coming off 29 against you and I on Wednesday in 29 minutes. Dean, that's a three ball. Both teams not giving help on the ball screen and both prolific shooters knocking them down. Dean at 18 today. Willingham with the turn turnaround and the rebound number five, Christian Davis. Dean hurrying to the front court and just whistled that one out of bounds beyond the reach of Kyle Thomas. 
I'll tell you what, Duke Dean had three three-point field goals in the first half. He just adds one right there in the second half. 76-55 in favor of Bradley. For nearly three decades, there have been celebrations, excitement, moments, and memories. 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center. And it begins here in downtown St. Louis. The 2024 State Farm Missouri Valley Con Direct TV Sports Central brings your game stats and scores together. And now you can get it without a satellite. One more reason to finally get rid of cable. But getting rid of the cable guy might not be as easy. Oh, yeah. Visit directtv.com for up to a $200 reward card. If you love to travel, Capital One has a rewards credit card that's perfect for you. With Venture X, earn unlimited double miles on everything you buy and get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. Open up a world of possibilities with Capital One. What's in your wallet? Bold, juicy, beefy, grilled. There's a lot of ways to describe the flame grilled flavor of Burger King. But one thing's for certain, it's not the same without the flame. Who says you can't go for bold without going broke? Get the brands you want, the prices you want, whenever you want. TJ Maxx, where you can always afford to be you to the max. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. Everybody out on the golf course. From the Pacific to the playoffs. And every hole in between. Phenomenal stuff. It's pretty cool. Every tournament starts on ESPN Plus. Stream your own way. The four wow. unique feeds. All the energy. These guys are having fun. All the personalities. Think Scotty's into it. All the unexpected. All season. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. The competition's never been better. I would never let a woman do that. The stars have never been brighter. Hey, Rick Carr, 3,000 career points. Come on, Cameron Brink. Deja Kelly. Oh, that was pretty. Was a more magic. Some ruin tonight. There's no stopping us now. This is 56-55 over Belmont in the second half. Our next NBC TV Network production, a presentation of the Holiday Inn Express and Suites Riverfront, will be Saturday, January 27th, as the Murray State Racers play host to the Southern Illinois Salukians. Our coverage begins at 1 p.m. Central. Call 309-694-9800 to book your hotel rooms for your team's next game at Bradley or your next trip to Peoria, Illinois. It's a cold, cold one outside today, but inside it's been Bradley's day. Rich Devosik is back with us. Good to have you here, Coach. How about Duke Dean, though? The ability to shoot the three, score in transition. Engaging young man. Number four, Dia back in there. Good to see him back on the floor for Belmont. Taking the pass low. And scoring. Dia has scored 13 in this one. Well, that's the first easy shot he's taken in a long time. Keep it simple, big guy. You're strong enough. Let's go right up. Dean goes up, and that goes down. 21 for Dean, coming off 15 in the win at SIU Wednesday. He had 26 at UIC on January 13th. Dia on three. Now, Dia a little unorthodox. Set shot from out there, but hey, if it He's, goes in, nobody's going to argue. Dia has scored the last two times he touched the ball. Six and a half to go in this one. Dean. From the corner, in and out for Davis. But the possession is alive. Davis gets fouled on the drive. The foul on Tyson. We're gonna watch the ball screen by Leon. Not enough help. And then, so we're gonna get another one. Dia doesn't step up on the second ball screen. And you cannot give Duke Dean that much room, especially on an afternoon like he's having today. How about, I don't know if you realize this, John. I was talking to, to Duke before the game, and 
he was born 50% blind in his left eye. And all I know is he shoots better with an eye and a half than most guys with two eyes. But he's just a terrific young man. Said his, his favorite sport growing up was actually baseball. I can see him being a good shortstop. Quick feet, good hands. Good center fielder. Another tough shot opportunity for Dia. Didn't have it. Tyson lets it go with one on the shot clock. Uh -oh. I'm not sure how that one went in. It's terrific concentration by K. Tyson. 23 for Tyson today. Willingham watching Dean. All the way to the basket. Count that one for Davis. Look out, Valley opponents. If Christian Davis starts scoring for Bradley, they are going to be a tough out. That one goes out of bounds in the corner. Back to Bradley with 513 left in this one. Coming off the bench with four fouls, Darius Hanna. And as Ann and Hickman will take a break. Hickman has 11 today. Don't be surprised if Belmont doesn't go right into Malik Dia trying to pick up that fifth foul on Darius Hanna. Taking some time off the shot clock. Number two, Wynn Miller watching Duke Dean. Dean for three. He's feeling it. <laughs> He's pointing at the crowd. 24 today for Dean. And that's picked off. And out of bounds. Back the other way. Good hustle for Bradley, and Belmont will inbound. Four and a half to go in this one. And it's going to be Tyson, the trigger man on the inbounds pass. Christian Davis will watch him. And Dia out high. Leons is with him. Turnaround shot. 18 for Malik Dia. The average is 17 3 coming in. Dean across the line. He's having a little fun, isn't he? Uh, He's having a lot of fun. It's time scoring situation. You know, the clock is your friend if you're the Braves. Thomas with the fadeaway blocked by Tyson. I'd say Thomas Davis blocked by Tyson. Tyson was able to stand his ground. And that's a block the other way. Leon's. Emerson's second three ball today. All the way in using that muscle. 20 for Malik Dia. Dean directing traffic. And it's Davis setting up in the corner. Well, Belmont had had Bradley's number for that matter. A three! Unbelievable! Dean has 27. Dial up that number. A season and career high for him. You know, Belmont had beaten Bradley twice. Brian Wardle was 0-3 against Belmont having lost once when he was the head coach at Green Bay. Duke Dean just dancing out front. It's his show today. And the shot from the corner. Leons. It's raining threes here now for Bradley. We talk about it all the time. It's just shooting becomes contagious. One guy makes a three, the next guy makes one. Tyson off the glass. Leons runs it down. 210 left in this one.
traveling the call. And a timeout with 2.04 to go. It's the Duke Dean Show today, Rich. I'm just going to sit back and watch this young man knock down shot after shot. When I started college, so many people warned me about credit cards. They just seemed really scary. When I needed a car, I realized that I needed to build credit. So I got the Chime Credit Builder card because I could safely build credit without being afraid of fees or interest. And there was no credit check. My score went up over 60 points and I bought my first car. As a busy college student, having a car is an absolute must. I feel like I could do anything. <laughs> my next goal, a 700 credit score. Join me at Chime.com. The 2024 NHL All-Star Weekend is right here in Toronto, home of the CN Tower, standing taller than these guys in that. Unbelievable. Spectacular save. With cuisine tastier than moves like these. It's not real. If you show your best this weekend, you might end up here. That's hockey, baby. So welcome to Toronto. The 2024 NHL All-Star Weekend, February 2nd and 3rd on ESPN, ABC, and ESPN+. $5 duo at Burger King, double up flavors when hunger dings. Whopper Jr. and Royal Crispy Wraps for lunch, linen, dinner, or late night snack. BK, have it your way. Pure Leaf is crafted in a variety of flavors that'll make you say, ah, enjoy Juicy Peach, Zesty Lemon, or ripe raspberry without any artificial flavors. Pure Leaf Iced Tea, real variety, real brood. The Pro Bowl games are back. And this year's stars show off their best moves as they compete in dodgeball, precision passing, and more in the skill show. Plus, the AFC and NFC meet again in flag football. Touchdown. Can Peyton and Eli Manning coach the league's best to glory? The 2024 Pro Bowl game. Skill show Thursday, February 1st on ESPN. And don't miss flag football and more skills Sunday, February 4th on ESPN and ABC. Duke Dean has been unbelievable on the offensive end here this afternoon. 27 points. He's buried three after three. Actually broke his teammate's record now. That's seven threes. That's a Bradley record. And has been phenomenal facilitating seven assists to go with those 27 points. 18 three-point field goals today for Bradley. And you can see Daryl Brown, one of the assistants now, director of player development. Outstanding career here at Bradley. Duke Dean doing his best. Daryl Brown is the nation. And he looks a lot like that young man from Memphis who's gone into the coaching profession. Good luck to Daryl. All his future endeavors as he tries to help this Bradley team win one more championship. Here's Birch, the freshman, with five on the shot clock. And the shot off the glass and down to Belmont. And on the drive, that's an and one. Miller with the field goal. He'll be on the free throw line. John, I know this is an important game for Coach Wardle. Obviously, wants to win every game in the Missouri Valley, but the most important game for Coach Wardle might be coming up tonight. His two daughters playing for Peoria Notre Dame, Maya and Emmy, face off against Lincoln High School, the number one seed. Going to be on the Bradley campus. Ryan Wardle trying to go 2 and 0, or I should say the Wardle family go 2 and 0 here today. Vanderjack folks, that one out of bounds. And Connor Linky will inbound for Bradley. Birch out high, a minute 14 and counting in this one. And the bounce pass got away from Thomas. Miller cross court. And the shot for three, no good by Keith Robbins. Under a minute to go. 
Bradley after its 14th win. Sixth win in the conference and an eight game winning streak. Going to stay close to Indiana State. Drake, one loss behind. Breaking traffic. Davis with the ball, seven on the shot clock. Davis open. Christian has 14. 12 in the second half. This is Miller. Andrew Jack and Miller. Miller with the ball fake. And he threw that one away. Right to Kyle Thomas. And Bradley will just run out the clock on the way to Bradley's 14th victory overall and the sixth win in the league. Time runs out. The coaches shake hands at midcourt. And Bradley puts this one away convincingly. 95 to 72. Bradley put on a show, and more importantly, Duke Dean put on a show today. Bradley offensively was unbelievable. They they spread the wealth. They don't turn the ball over. Only eight turnovers, but it was the three-point shot by five different Braves that was the difference. And cannot say enough about Duke Dean and the job he did today. Our players of the game are a presentation of State Farm, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And our players of the game, obviously Duke Dean for his 27. 7 of 10 behind the arc. And Kay Tyson, the sophomore, had 23 points today. And a convincing win for the Bradley Braves, 95 to 72. And that is eight wins in a row for Brian Wardle and the Bradley Braves. And I thought a very complete game today as we're joined by the head coach of the Braves, Brian Wardle. And, and what a show for Dean. The three-point shots were impressive, but overall, as I mentioned, I thought you had a complete game today, Coach. Your thoughts? Yeah, you know, offensively, was, I thought we moved the ball well. In the second half, we found the skip passes a lot more, and we were ready to shoot. I thought that was a big key to the game was spacing, um, spacing and screening, and, and setting good hard contact screens, legal screens, so that we can maybe create some advantages, some two-on-ones, and then we got to make the right read. I thought Duke and Hick did a great job moving the ball. Malavai was great to see him get going from three. It was great to see Christian Davis get back on track. And then obviously Duke heated up. And when he hits up, heats up, you know, he could put up some big numbers. He had that great comeback in Carbondale. And it seemed to carry over at the outset. It, it, tell me about your half court offense, because it was electric here this afternoon. You know, we, we like to get on score. You know, it's funny, when you take over a program my first couple of years, you got to form an identity when you take over a program. And, Defense and rebounding was that, but if you look at us, we're very balanced offensively. Is, is a big emphasis. We got to be good offensively in our league to win big, and we know that. And uh, getting out in transition, creating you know some driving kick opportunities, moving the ball, sharing the ball, and that's when you have a team being stars in their role and, and not caring about how many points they score. Good things can happen, and we have that right now. And but our defense has got to get a little clean up. I didn't like our defense in the first half at all to start the game. I didn't think we guarded very well. We started the second half have much better defensively and that opened up the lead for us and you had Christian Davis put 14 points up his scoring that means so much to you and his development what you're doing as a team yeah and he, him coming off a bench as a veteran with two other freshmen is big and so um, Almar I thought was much better in the second half Christian was really good Kyle Thomas gave us some good minutes and you know we just got to keep getting better one game at a time um, you know segments four minute segments at a time keep cleaning some things up keep playing a little smarter and, and see where we can go with this. What is it meant to have Connor Hickman back in the lineup and back healthy? You know, I've answered this a lot, and it's <laughs> it's it's obvious. You know, it's it's and, and look at Belmont. I mean, they got a really talented team, and they can really score, and they got a, a key guy out for them in Gillespie. So let's put that in there too. When you're missing a key guard, like the top one or two player on your team, it's a drop off usually, especially for us with freshmen and, and newcomers. So. Um, Hickman's everything. He's our toughness. He's our smarts on the floor. He talks. He leads. 
He gives guys confidence and you know he can really he can score and he can pass and he can defend. He's a, he's a you know he can kind of do it all on both both ends of the floor. But coming back from his injury he looks like he is fundamentally sound going straight up with his jump shot hitting threes and his penetration the short floater. He can do so many things for you but he looks better since his injury. It's funny we had 18 threes today and, and he only made one and and I and I like his look. I, he has a green light with me. You know if you're if you can shoot it and you can get going and you play for me as long as you play defense you have a green light to, to let it ride and and he's a guy that has that green light um, missed some good looks today I think sometimes sitting on the bench it, I don't ever want it again I'm not saying that I, I don't want him ever next to me <laughs> I'm, games. I'm with you on that but sometimes as a player things slow down for you a little bit you get to see the coach's perspective you get to see some things maybe you don't see when you're on the floor playing and I know that as a former player so I think Hickman's been able to sit on the bench observe some things learn some things and it's helped his game slow down a little bit well in the valley you always want the great players in the game and Always. he's having a great stretch for you coach congratulations on eight straight wins and good luck as you move on in the valley thanks guys I good luck it. tonight maybe the most important game <laughs> It's Brian Wardle, the head coach of the Bradley Braves with an eight game winning streak and our final score Bradley 95 the Belmont Bruins 72 our next Missouri Valley Conference game of the week is coming up Saturday January 27th Bernie State will be hosting SIU Southern Illinois our coverage begins at 1 p.m. Central now for Rich Savosic and our entire Missouri Valley Conference TV crew I'm John Rooney thanks a million for watching and so long from Peoria. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. People want to define Gen Z, but that's our job. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time, while I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. The world's largest sports book in Las Vegas is now right at your fingertips in Illinois. It's sports betting the way it should be, with high betting limits, tight money line splits. Start betting like a pro from anywhere in Illinois. Target. PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus. From the Pacific to the playoffs, every tournament starts on ESPN Plus. Stream your own way with four unique feeds. PGA Tour Live on ESPN+. Plus. The competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN+.